Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, alhamdulillah, only with Allah's permission can we meet. I hope this meeting will be useful for you and me. Don't forget to greet the Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet of the end times. Also greetings to the family of Prophet Muhammad, his companions, and all Muslims. May we always be in the protection of God. Amen, Amen, Yes Rabbil Alamin. Meet us this time we'll discuss Jabal Kaf, the largest, and most mysterious mountain. Before continuing, I hope you always support this channel by liking, sharing, and commenting. So that we always show the best for you. On the face of the earth lay seas, mountains and valleys, with innumerable numbers, so many. As well as the mountains on this earth, very many, from the smallest to the largest. But there is one mountain that God created, mysteriously, and is said to be a hidden mountain. That mountain is Jabal Kaf. This mountain is hidden and the most mysterious on earth. It is said that Jabal Kaf is the largest mountain, and is the mother of the mountains in all the earth, where other mountains are the veins. We can't imagine, if the mountains on earth, only become the veins of Jabal Kaf mountain, how big is Jabal Kaf mountain? After performing the Miraj in the seventh heaven, on the way to the earth, the Prophet Muhammad witnessed a very beautiful panorama. Like a blue frame, blue light can be seen splitting the sky. Fascinated by the panorama, the Prophet invited Jibril to visit him. And it turns out, the blue light is a large mountain mound, the mountain of Jabal Kaf. Al Aluzi illustrates Jabal Qaf as a mountain of mist that is invisible to the naked eye. That is, a mysterious mountain that few people know about. Jabal Qaf is a kind of mountain with up to 70 layers, with exactly the same model. The story of the Apostle Muhammad on the night of Miraj. I saw a small beautiful town. The ground was dusty white as silver. Shine like glass. The city is a dwelling for humans as usual. When the inhabitants of the city saw me, they said in unison, Praise be to God who has given us the opportunity to see your face directly, O Prophet Muhammad. They then declared their faith in me. Then I taught them the laws of God's Sharia. Then I asked them, Who are you? We are the children of Israel. Answer them. But why live in this place? Ask the Prophet Muhammad. They started telling stories. When Moses died, there was a fierce dispute among the children of Israel. Riots were everywhere. They eradicated all religious leaders. In order to save ourselves, we tried to get out of the area, until we arrived at the beach. They continued. We don't know where else to hide. In front of the ocean. Behind us were the children of Israel who had the unlucky cut of us. In the midst of our confusion, we prayed to Allah to save us from the threat of the children of Israel. Suddenly, the ground that we stepped on, sinks. Surprisingly, we felt in a stuffy basement. For 18 months we lived in the basement. Before then we found a gap to get out. And we arrived at this place. But before Moses died, he made a will. In order to convey his greetings to you, O Prophet Muhammad. They begin to end the story. The Prophet then asked again, I see your house has no door. Why? They replied, Even though we are not brothers, we are like brothers. Our hearts and souls are united in the same feeling. We were never worried that there would be a crime between us. Why is your house of worship built far from your house? Asked the Apostle. In our belief, a person who visits a house of worship from a far place will get a far more reward than someone who visits a house of worship from a close place. Answer them. I see the graves in this place are very close to people's houses, in fact, in front of their houses. Asked the Apostle. 
so that we can see the grave at all times, so that we are no longer preoccupied with the world and forget death, they replied. Why do the residents of this city rarely laugh out loud? The Apostle Muhammad asked again. For us laughing out loud will only make our hearts pitch black. That's why we never laugh out loud, was their answer. The Prophet Muhammad again asked. Did any of the residents of this city get sick? Illness is penance for sin, we have never sinned. Are you farming? Yes, O oh messenger, but we only go to our fields when planting. After that, we leave our plants, we surrender completely to God. When the harvest arrived, only a crowd of us came to our fields. Verily, behind the mountain of Jabal Kaf there is a piece of white land with no vegetation. The area of the land is like the area of the world seven times, it is crowded with angels. So if a needle is dropped from above, it will fall on one of them. In each hand they held a flag that was forty farsakhs long. Each flag is written, La ilaha illa Muhammadur Rasulullah. Every Friday night, they gather around the mountain to humble themselves to God, and ask for salvation for the people of the Prophet Muhammad. If the dawn has risen, they pray, O Lord, forgive those who bathe on Friday and those who come to attend Friday. They prayed loudly and loudly. Then God said, O my angel, what do you want? They replied, We want you to forgive the sins of the people of the Prophet Muhammad. I have forgiven them, answered the Lord. Jabal Kaf Hill which was created by God from green emeralds, so the color affects the blue color of the world sky that we often and always see, is a hill that surrounds all corners of the earth's veins so that the earth does not move and is guarded by one big angel, sturdy and strong. One day King Iskander Zul Karnain climbed up on the hill of Jabal Kaf and asked, O oh Jabal Kaf, under you there are a number of small hills, try to tell me about the power of God like that, answered the hill of Jabal Kaf. Behind me there is an earth that is 500 years of travel plus also by God who has enormous power, namely 500 hills made of frozen water, not ice or snow. With frozen water, it is intended as resistance to the layers of the earth so that they are not completely destroyed by the ferocity of the fire of hell that is below the lowest layer of the earth. And he staked in the earth the mountains into their pegs so that you would not shake, Al-Quran Surah Luqman verse 10. And hurry to get forgiveness from your Lord and get a paradise as wide as the heavens and the earth which is prepared for those who are pious, Al-Quran Surah Ali Imran verse 113. As wide as the heavens and the earth gives a double meaning. The sky is paired with the earth, the sun and the moon, the day and the night. Glory be to God who has created all things in pairs, Yusin, 36. We certainly understand what it means to be paired. Of course the area, length, width and magnitude are the same. Indeed, God has created the seven heavens and the earth like that, Al-Quran Surah Al-Thalak verse 12. When Abdullah bin Salam asked the Prophet Muhammad, with what can this earth be calm, the Prophet Muhammad replied, with some mountains, the next question, with what mountains were strengthened, replied the Prophet Muhammad, with the mountain of Jabal Kaf made of emerald green and blue sky, after that he was asked again, how high is the distance from the earth to the sky of the world, replied the Prophet Muhammad, 500 years of travel. The next question about the distance between his left and right journey, north-south, from the midpoint. Prophet Muhammad replied, 200 years of journey, and when asked about the inhabitants of the earth which is layered with seven layers. Prophet Muhammad states, the inhabitants of the seventh layer are angels, the inhabitants of the sixth layer are Satan and his armies, the inhabitants of the fifth layer are demons, the inhabitants of the fourth layer are snakes, the inhabitants of the third layer are scorpions, the inhabitants of the second layer are jinn, and the inhabitants of the first layer are humans. Dot. Allah says, and in the earth there are parts that accompany, Al-Quran Surah Al-Rad verse 4. Until here our meeting, hopefully useful, wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.